Letter Regarding the Proposed Sioux Locks by Eber Ward Read by Frank Blissett Detroit, January 29, 1853 Honorable William A. Burt, Member, House of Representatives, Lansing, Michigan Dear Sir, the deep anxiety I feel in common with the rest of the community for the early completion of the Sault Ste. Marie Canal induces me to write to you on the subject. I fear the defeat of our long-cherished hopes. The legislature, in their anxiety to prevent undue speculation by those who would be disposed to contract to do the work, are in great danger of going to the opposite extreme, and make such requirements as will deter competent men from taking the contract for the land. The size proposed by the Senate bill, 350 by 70 feet locks, is entirely too large for the locks. The crooked, narrow, shallow, and rocky channels in the St. Mary's River will forever deter the largest class of steamers from navigating these waters. Aside from the impediments in the two Lake Georges, there are several places where the channel is very narrow, with but eleven feet of water clear of rocks, and the channels too crooked for the large class of steamers to pass in safety. This I regard as a conclusive argument against making the locks so large as is contemplated. I do not believe there is the least necessity for making the locks over 260 feet in the clear and 60 feet wide, as no vessel of larger dimensions that could pass such locks can be used there with safety without an expenditure of a very large sum of money in excavating rock at various points along the river a work that is not likely to be undertaken during the present century. The value of wild lands may be estimated by ascertaining the amount actually realized by the state for the large grants that have heretofore been made for the purposes of improvement when no taxes were collected until the lands were sold to settlers. I think it will be difficult to find a value of 25 cents per acre for all such grants made to the state. A well-organized company might make the lands worth 75 cents per acre, provided they were not taxed while held by the company. I have no doubt that the small-sized canal required by the act making the grant of land would cost $525,000, or 70 cents per acre. Add 8 cents per acre for interest during the construction of the work, and 15 cents per acre for selection and location, brings it to 93 cents per acre a price at which any quantity can now be located without any risk of loss, and with much greater chances of making desirable selections. If the legislature will appoint a committee who shall act with the governor to make the best contract for the state they can, holding them responsible for a faithful discharge of their duties, I feel confident we shall succeed in securing the great object of our wishes. But if this bill should materially restrict the governor in his powers, I think we have good reason to fear that the most vital interests of the state will be delayed for years to come. Hoping for a favorable issue to this absorbing question, I remain truly yours. E. B. Ward. That was Letter Regarding the Proposed Sioux Locks by Eber Ward. Read by Frank Blissett.